Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now we have the Five of Swords here and we also have the Ten of Swords. Now, there's been a lot of mental anxiety around you. You're feeling as if you're mentally drained, but you're at the stage now where you're not prepared to put up any more with any more. You've had enough. Now this can mean that you're going to have to find compromises. This is fives and fives of change. They can feel like it's not about giving in, it's about getting the best way forward, finding that middle ground to go forward to resolve your issues here. And it can feel like a bittersweet victory. So you can feel as if you're making compromises here, you're letting, leaving things behind you would rather take with you for some of you as well. But please focus on what you're coming out with, that's really important. Um, we can feel as if we're taking a step backwards to take two forwards. But let's see what the guidance is in relation to this message. If this starts to resonate, please like, share and subscribe. We have the Two of Wands, the Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Scorpio Energy is the Death card. Scorpio might be relevant here. The overall central energy is the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Swords, again, the King of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Now, this is about disappointment, feeling left out in the cold, feeling abandoned, feeling let down here. And what we're having to do here is we're going to have to address these issues. It's time for this to end. You've had enough and you know that. So it's about time to, you know, let these disappointments go, accept the situation for what it is. And we really need to focus on what we have and how we want to go forward. And like I said earlier, this could involve compromising, um, finding that middle ground so that you can move on. Now, this is going to change. It's a transformation. It's out with the old and in with the new. And it's about your options. Always remember you have options in life. It's time to stop procrastinating over your situation and make your choices. Look for better choices here. This is a conversation that might have to take place. You've got the clarity you need through the disappointments that you've been through, the mental anxieties that you've been through. You're starting to see clearly what needs to be done, and that is that change needs to come. So look at your options here. Don't think that because you're in a situation, you have to stick with it. So you might also be gathering some information as well, having a conversation that informs you about something here. But you're definitely getting the mental clarity over choices and you're well aware that change needs to happen. Now, this is about you being passionate about what you're investing your time and energies into or who you're investing your, your time and energies into. So to get into this high vibration, to start feeling good about life again and to shake off all the mental anxieties that you've been through, you're going to have to think clearly, you're going to have to speak up, or you're going to have to seek some professional advice, whether it be financial, legal, any kind of advice. And this could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy. And like I say, it could just simply be that conversation that's been needing to take place here to put an end to your mental anguish that's been you're going through. Now, you're going to change things and you're going to make new choices. And you're choosing here, two's are choices. You're looking at your choices here and you're choosing one that suits you. You're going down a path where you're going to be happy, where there's going to be growth. It's almost like this is a two. You're choosing and doing what's right for you here. And that's really, really important because you are meant to be passionate about life. It's not just being passionate in a sexual sense. We're meant to be passionate about everything that we're doing. And that includes you know, enjoying the person's company, um, feeling this person's making you feel good. If that's not happening and you're feeling let down, we need to change it. We need to make a choice here. And the choices that you make and this change that you're bringing in and this compromise that you're finding is definitely going to work for you. You're going to be successful. You're going to be victorious. You're going on to a new path. You could be releasing yourself from something that's causing a lot of stress in your life and you're going to grow on to grow. And when you start that and you start to see success coming into your life and you're flourishing in other areas of your life, you become a very attractive prospect for new opportunities for love. So communication is key here. I do feel change is key. Um, it's time to end all the mental uh, anxieties you're going through here. Yes, it's time for a brand new beginning when it comes to stability. You know, this could be new contracts, purchasing new things, financial security as well could be involved in this. So new beginnings here. 
come away from antagonistic people you if it's you know or environments don't be listening to others here this is your choice uh, and don't doubt your ability to do this because this can be you fighting with yourself over making these changes am i able to do this am i capable of doing this have i got what it takes and if you make these changes you're going to go from the 5 to the 6 so there's a lot to be gained for you on a personal level by making the change transforming the situation and this is you taking control. It's about you getting into the driving seat and taking a leadership role in your life, whether it be speaking up, decision making, and you're building something beautiful now. You're in control again. You're not bogged down mentally. You feel as if you're back in the driving seat. Now, this can be somebody as well who's been very controlling in your life uh, that you're leaving behind. And it could also be somebody who's giving you some advice here. I could say information that you could use here when it comes to making choices and going forward. So there's a lot to be gained here. Um, it's a transformational energy that's in, around you at this moment in, uh, in your life. And the opportunity there is there because we all have freedom of choice, but the opportunity is there for you to get into the driving seat and move on from mental anxieties and disappointments. This is very similar actually to the cancer reading. So I don't know whether cancer is relevant to you or it's in your rising site, uh, but, um, might be your moon or rising sign, but it's very similar here. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.